Now let's look at a dictionary client, another uh, very useful and common application of symbol tables. Uh, so in this case, we're going to write a client called lookup CSV uh, that uh, <coughs> is going to take three arguments. The first will be a file name, a so-called comma-separated value file, uh, and the next two arguments are integers, which will tell us uh, what to treat uh, as keys and values in the file. In this example, uh, our CSV file uh, relates URLs to IP addresses. Uh, so each line has a URL and an IP address, and they're separated by commas. Uh, and in general, a CSV file might have many fields separated by com commas. So we number them 0, 1, and so forth, starting from the left. So uh, what we are going to do with this client is specify with integers uh, which field is the key and which is the value. So if we call this client with uh, the second argument 0 and third argument 1, that means we want to use the URL, field 0 in the CSV file, as the key, and we want to use the IP address, uh, that's field 1 in the CSV, as the value. We want to associate keys with values. So uh, the client will build a symbol table that makes those associations for every line in the file, and this could be a huge file. And then if we want to look up the IP address associated with a given URL, uh, we can just type in uh, <coughs> URLs and the client will return the IP address. It'll do the lookup. Uh, so adobe.com uh, has got uh, this uh, IP address as shown uh, at this line here in the table and so forth. Uh, Princeton.edu has this IP and eBay.edu is uh, not in the file. Uh, now, on the other hand, we could, from this same file, we could build a symbol table where uh, we treat the IP address as the, C, as the key and the URL as the value. So in that case, it'll build a symbol table with IP addresses as keys, and we can type in an IP address and get the associated URL. So with one client, uh, we can handle lookups of all kinds uh, in CSV files. Uh, for example, uh, here's another CSV file uh, that from uh, biology that uh, deals with uh, amino acids and uh, codons and names. Uh, so in this case, the first field uh, is three uh, letters from a DNA sequence, uh, which uh, represents a codon, uh, and certain codons have the names. Uh, that's the amino acid, so uh, TCC is called serine and so forth. And that's an association uh, that's uh, uh, well known to uh, biologists. Uh, and then you can use this lookup CSV client to uh, quickly get the uh, name associated with any given codon. Uh, and that's just uh, another simple example. This is a very general tool. Any CSV file, you can pick any field as the key and any other field as the value. Uh, so here's uh, still another example where uh, we might use for a class list, which has the person's year of graduation, last name, first name, uh, precept name, uh, and uh, login name. Uh, and so uh, in the first call uh, over here, we might use the uh, login name as the key and the first name as the value. So we type in somebody's login name, we get their first name. Uh, and again, with the same client, uh, log in as key and get the section as a value. So all kinds of information processing that we might need to do uh, for uh, large amounts of data represented in comma-separated uh, comma value files, uh, this one client, uh, which is based on a symbol table, uh, will provide useful functionality. Uh, and here's the implementation. Uh, this very little to it, uh, given the symbol table API that we've articulated and the uh, implementations that we have. So uh, what do we do to uh, get lookup CSV implemented? Well, uh, first thing is to uh, <coughs> set up the input stream from the first argument, so that's our uh, input file. Uh, and then get the numbers of the fields, so the key and the value, uh, and now build a symbol table that associates strings with strings. Uh, then uh, there, uh, there's a while loop where uh, we just read a new line, in.readLine, read line, uh, and then split according to comma into tokens in an array. 
Uh, and then the uh, <clears throat> index in the array is going to be the fields that we're going to use. So the key is the uh, string in the key field entry of the array, and the value is the string in the val field entry in the array, and we simply put that in the symbol table. So this uh, while loop just builds the symbol table from the file. Then from standard input, uh, we take Queries, just read a string, uh, check if the symbol table contains the string. If it doesn't, print not found. Uh, and if it does, uh, print the value associated with the key. So a very small amount of code based on our symbol table implementation that gives us the dictionary functionality.